Welcome, welcome back in for another video. I thought I'd do a live one today. It's been a while since I've done a live video and people have asked me when I will do another live. So I thought I'd do it today. We're gonna go through this bag that was only $35, but it was quite big. And tomorrow I'm bringing you a recorded video of a very special bag. So stay tuned till the end of the video for more details on that. Right now we're gonna get started on this one. I don't even remember where I got this one. Uh, I know it's Goodwill, but I don't recall which one exactly because I've had it a little while. It looks like that might be coral. That would be very nice. <laughs> I just hope it's uh, genuine and not plastic, right? Because that's what it looks like. I don't know, and then it looks like we have some vintage jewelry in here, some origami. That looks interesting too. It looks like there's two of them. So we shall see. Well, while we're waiting for a um, few people to chime in, I see some thumbs up and I do appreciate that very much. I will show you the rings of the day and someone did ask to see the bracelets too. <laughs> so if that's not too much of a problem, I will do that. Um, the rings are a wraparound sterling ring that I have I have three of, and one was found in a jar, one was found in a thrift store, and another one I found on eBay. But I always wear them, and on the tips of my fingers, this is a Chalcedony Sterling Silver and Genuine Pearl ring that I absolutely adore. It covers three fingers there, and that was as well found in a jar. That was found in a jar as well. It's been a while since I've gone live. This uh, is interesting, but when I had a Presidium for about a week, it tested as a, as a topaz. I always thought it was an aquamarine, but I think it's a natural topaz that hasn't been uh, heat treated. So I really love that. It's on sterling. And I don't even remember where I got this ring, but I did have it sized down to a pinky. I have a total fetish about pinky rings. I love them. This one I've had forever. It is a genuine aquamarine. It's set in 18 karat and it does have diamonds around it and I adore that one. And the bracelets I just bought this yesterday. I adore it. It of course is the Eye of Horus or as they say in Arabic, Eye of, what is it? Nye of Horse actually. It's pronounced more like horse. But I do love that. It is uh, set with Amazonite. Sterling silver. Uh, this is a diamond and gold bracelet that I purchased from a wonderful friend and fellow YouTuber, Makeup Zombie. That's your little stars, love that. This is, um, what's it called, Qu uh, Qu Crystal Quartz. And uh, set in just brass, but it's gorgeous. Another wonderful sterling bracelet that I got from Miss Liz at Makeup Zombie with diamonds. And this was a really lucky find at a thrift store a long time ago. It's Italian, it's 14 karat gold and sterling silver, it's a cable, Kind of a Yerman-esque style bracelet. And then over here I have my Hermes bracelet that my wonderful sister gifted me. And these are stamped Hermes on each one of these links. These are their equestrian motifs. I love that. This was actually one of my daughter's ID bracelets when she was younger. And I think it busted and I had it put on another chain when she was a baby. They all had 14 karat gold bracelets. This is a Tiffany & Company starfish that a wonderful subscriber sent me. She found it in a jar and she thought of me and she sent it to me. Isn't that thoughtful and wonderful? So that's that. And uh, let me welcome a few people. Thank you for hitting that thumbs up. Looks like Diane is here, Sanja, Linda, Lo Louise, and uh, Elizabeth. How are you? Charlene. Hi, Becky. And um, Talerios. Toledo, Ohio, T Telio. So I don't know if I'm saying that right. Forgive me, but it's a beautiful name. Hi, Miss Kathleen at this and that. <laughs> Wonderful. I'm glad, Kathleen. And Miss Mary as well as Miss Laura. I'm going to get started. And if I fail to say hello, it's only because I want to get through this big stack of $35 worth of junk jewelry, which we know is not always the case because as I've stated many times, I have found everything from diamonds to yermin i didn't find this in, in a bag i bought that um diamonds to yermin to rubies and even um what's that other wonderful brand um i'll think of it in a minute tiffany of course many times oh bulgari bulgari i've also found oh these are cute look at these they're kind of amber looking 
All right, I feel like I've gotten my $35 worth already just with these cute things. And they do feel acrylic. Uh, let me know if I'm getting out of the frame. I tend to do that, especially when I'm live because I'm so excited about seeing the jewelry that I forget you're there. But I am so happy you are. And to all my new subscribers, that's one of the reasons I'm going live because many of them have asked when I do lives. And as you know, I really don't have any scheduled lives. I just do a heart to heart about once a month, but I have missed doing them live. So welcome all my new subscribers. I'm so happy you're here. And all my regular subscribers that keep coming back, I owe the world to you and I thank you so much. Hi Tiggy, love these. These are really cute. I love the little silver on there too. That gives it kind of a different little vibe, I think. Sometimes you see in these vintage mostly um, yellow gold, right? You know, I love Americana. These are cute. I hope we have another one. They're kind of kitschy, right? Oh, I love those. Garden party time with these. Oh my gosh, I feel, I feel like I'm living in the garden party days of 66 or something with those. This was probably a bridal party thing. You know, you buy them by the dozen, give them to the bridesmaids and so forth. Hi, Susan. And, uh, oh, this is interesting. Kind of a mesh chain with some matching earrings. They look a little worse for wear, but you know what I say about the spray paint, right? Look at that. Oh, my goodness. No, this is going to have to go to the recycle bin because this may spread. <laughs> Truly rusted. We can't attenuate the terms here at all. I cannot say uh, patina or <laughs> truly rusted on that one. Ooh, 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 look at that. Okay, that's a single earring, so I'm going to realtor pin. Hopefully we'll find some matches. Now, sometimes people mix up their Pandoras with their fakes in here, so... I don't know. And this one looks like it says 925, but it looks worn as well. So it's probably just an imitation. But I will definitely look on the, at these a little closer. We have some glass beads. Sorry about that shaky camera. Let me know if the, if the stream is coming in nice and clear. We do have a match. Oh, no, this is another one. Oh, the gold ones are pretty, too. Yeah, I would say we got our $35 back already on some earrings. Look at these little sequins. Very nicely done, and they are in good condition. Oh, those are beautiful. Love gold colors. Uh, yeah, sometimes the stream gets a little blurry. The voice goes out. That's another reason why I've really embraced the pre-recorded ones. A little bit more people seem to enjoy them when they can be edited and all the noise, you know, the white noise coming through can be at bay. I like this. That is really pretty. Can you see the paisley in there? They have some paisley designs. That is really cute. And this chain is not bad either. It has... It's acrylic, but it has kind of a crystalline look to it. I'm trying to imitate, I guess, rock quartz or something. Look at that, and it's even festooned. That is pretty. I, I'm liking that one for sure. Okay. My goodness, these are exotic. Look at this orange thing. I love this one. You like the yellow uh, paisley cross, Kathleen? That's pretty. This is glass. Oh, I love it. I actually may just take that off of there and wear it by itself because this kind of reminds me of a Girl Scout project or something here. I don't know how you feel about it. But this orange is beautiful. Oh, my gosh. I was at the museum yesterday. And, oh, my gosh. <laughs> they had a, well, they had all these royal tiaras and things that belong to the Russians and whatnot and they had a sapphire that was oh my gosh so beautifully blue and it was the size I'm not kidding the size of like a tic-tac 
aluminum container. You know, like it was about that big. It was humongous. So many beautiful things. Oh, I could spend the day there. I did spend the day there. <laughs> I spent five and a half hours there. It was wonderful. I took my grandson. This is pretty. I love the bells. Who makes this? Oh, where is my... Oh, don't tell me I didn't bring a loop. See how unprepared I am? Let me go grab my loop. I was testing earlier. So I can read the labels for you. Okay. Read the tags and everything. Welcome, everyone. It's an Avon. Thank you again for being here. If you're enjoying the video so far, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And do subscribe if you haven't. Oh my gosh, we're going to get them in all colors. Purple now. How interesting is that? I still need the multicolored. Hi, Linda. Oh, we got the brooch that matches the cute earrings. This is so pretty. I'm thinking Doris Day. It's giving me Doris Day. I love it. This is an eye. Here's the warden. Good luck, eye. Interesting. Christmas earrings. We're just gonna dig it right out of there. What did I drop? I already dropped something. Oh my goodness. Oh wow, look at this. That's kind of pretty. Very pretty. Looks very regal, doesn't it? Look at that. That'd be a nice bracelet. I actually like it for a bracelet more than a choker. I don't know. I think that would be so pretty as a bracelet. Don't you? I love that. Let me see what else popped in. Thank you again for being here. One Fairy Princess 13. How are you, One Fairy Pr Princess 13? Ooh, 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 ooh. This is cute, too. This is kind of a ceramic. These feel like acrylic, and they are really, really pretty. And it is by, I never know who that is. Looks like a P. I always want to say Papagayo, but I think Papagayo does clothing, don't they? This is really pretty. I need to bring my little display so you don't have to see my dry hands. Look at that. That's beautiful. Oh my goodness. Okay. Halloween? Yes. Pumpkins. Little pumpkin stretch. And some kind of a very thin little, you've seen them, very thin aluminum like bangles. And, oh, that's interesting. This looks like a pair of Miriam Haskells I had that were like from the 80s, and they feel like polymer clay or something. Have you guys ever seen those? Well, I hope the other one is in there because that one was originally tagged over $5. Ooh, this is pretty. And the tassels are in good condition. Beautiful dusty rose. These look like genuine stones. Almost a, you know, that um, berry colored garnet. Hey, Kirsten, how are you? Thanks for popping in. Okay, this is loft, I think. No, it's that, uh, oh, somebody told me the other day where it was from. It's from a particular store, 1945. I, don't, I forgot what she said, but I think it's exclusive to a certain department store. I forgot. Oh, these are crystal. These are pretty. These are kind of modern looking, aren't they, with that really thin... I mean, really petite looking bead. And they are crystal, not a B. Oh, I like that. And it's long. It does not have a clasp. We saw some amazing squash blossoms in the Americas Hall at the museum. And they were just so fabulous. There were some that were so rudimentary, which, as you know, is the hallmark of 
the older pieces literally strung on string. <laughs> They're just strung up on string, but they were squash blossoms made of silver and turquoise. So beautiful. Oh, this is something too. Some kind of glass. Feels frosty. Kato's. Is that what it is, Julie? Thank you. Miss Julie, how are you? I haven't seen you in a while. Well, we haven't gone live in a while, but glad you're here. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Yes. Oh, this is stretch. That is so cute. That's a pretty bracelet. Look at that kind of more, um, I don't know how to say this. I don't know, more rocker chick or something in the back. Biker chick with the chains. But hey, we sparkle on this side every day. Pearls, pearls, pearls. Give me pearls. Okay, don't pull too hard now. Don't pull too hard. Okay, these appear to be genuine, but you can't quite tell. They're a little light, though. Nope. They are faux. I felt because they were kind of light. But they're pretty, and I love the champagne color. So that's pretty. These also appear to be faux. Very nice long strand. These are really nice to put an enhancer on. What kind of long, you know? Wear them long and then wear a little, wear it as a necklace. And they're in good condition, so those are pretty. And this is just a little mall stuff. Kind of worn out. I'll probably put this in a crafter lot. These would make some nice earrings. And they're not heavy. I like that though. Okay, what is this? Abalone shell. Wow. Look at that. I wonder what they call this particular side of the shell. This side of the shard of the shell. See how it always has that little orange? People use those in the in rings and everything. They look pretty. And then the other side is definitely... Look at this one. Abalone and Mother of Pearl on one side. How pretty is that? That's very unique. Looks like it belonged to a very old necklace. And even the button is the shell. Wow, I like this. I'm going to straighten it out. Cute. Hmm. Oh, it's a brooch. I thought it was kind of those add-on bracelets or something. It's a little Christmas brooch. A stretchy. And... Um, Miss Gloria, I'm so glad you're here. If there's ever anything you see in this haul or any other one, please be sure and email me at thelmahords at gmail.com. And all that information is in all my videos. By the way, please don't miss tomorrow's video. Tomorrow's video will be pre-recorded. I've been sponsored by Whatnot, and I know I've talked to you about it before, but they're actually sponsoring the video where I can show you what's in the bag and everything that's in that bag. They've already bought the bag for me and invest it in me. I'm going to take it to whatnot and I'm going to start everything at one dollar regardless of what it is. So I'm going to do that video tomorrow. Today I just wanted to kind of do a little chat video and let you know. So all of the links and everything will be in that video tomorrow. It'll be a pre-recorded video so a lot of people can get a chance to see it. But I will be selling on whatnot. Everything that comes out of that mystery bag and I haven't opened it yet for a start bid of one dollar and that's a great place to be i've sold over there i've done three shows already but uh, i was kind of wet behind the ear so i had to practice a little bit and i may practice tomorrow again <laughs> and uh, just with you know some of the stuff that i always have around me this is pretty kind of nautical but i do have a sponsorship from whatnot and of course if you sign up you get 15 dollars off your first purchase whether it's with me or anybody else on whatnot and then of course if you sign up to sell they'll give me a kickback as well but more importantly they're sponsoring the video they're going to allow me to be able to start every bid at one dollar so it won't be a loss for me they have sponsored it these are glass these are pretty 
So that'll be tomorrow's video. We will do an unboxing of a more expensive jewelry jar, $125. I just found it and I could not believe it was $125. I think it's one that, that my husband bought me. This isn't that beautiful. I love this. The colors are amazing. It's a little stretch. So don't miss that. If you're not familiar with whatnot, we will get familiar with it. And uh, you will love it over there too. But I also sell on Facebook. That information is always in my description box. I don't sell directly on this channel. I just like to show you crazy stuff like this so we can laugh and we can ooh and ah. And sometimes I do find some ooh and ah stuff like that ring. So that's what this channel is about. But I love it when you ask me if uh, I want to sell something. So please email me. Okay. Oh, look at this. She is kind of cool. Hi, Christina. Look at her. It says love. That is so cute. And then right here it says Joe or Jan. Joe Sam. <coughs> Excuse me. So it's um it's signed. Oh, I'm so glad you're here. That's why I wanted to do a live because. Uh, I know people had been asking to um, when I was going to do a live. And I used to do a lot of live unboxings, but um, I'm kind of honing down on the lives a little bit. I am so happy you're here. Thank you so much. Could open in the UK. Oh, really? Co <laughs> well, I think that's how it started with the Pokemon craze, right? But I'm going to see, that's what I love about it too, is because. I truly am an eBay seller as well, so I am, um, you know, Delma Hordes, that's my Gmail. I hope to sell other things other than jewelry, but this is just their way of sponsoring the video, so they've asked me to open a box and take that box to whatnot and start everything at one dollar. And believe me, you can get things for a dollar. I have. I have, because they're 15 second auctions. So they're super fun. This is gorgeous. I love anything with the rodeo. Rodeo. What am I thinking? Rosary link and the turquoise color. Fabulous. All right. A shell. Does it have a chain? Cute. Oh, that's pretty. Someone got crafty with that one. That is really pretty. That looks like it could have been a key ring. It's a genuine shell. Very pretty. All right. Uh, what else? Did I leave anything behind here? Two matching earrings. These are glass. They're pretty too. Kind of a corally color. Those are very nice. And this is beautiful. Long. Broken. Well, they put a safety pin in there. Maybe that's another one. Okay, that's another one. Very pretty, very long, about 24 inches long. Hey Jude, how are you? Hope you're doing well. Isn't that cute? This looks very 70s too, early 70s to me. I love it. I love the geometric shapes. Right? Isn't it amazing? It's a great place. I'm telling you, it's a buyer's, it's a it's a buyer's market, but it's a good way for people who sell to do something different besides eBay, which I love eBay, don't get me wrong, it's my bread and butter, and always has been, because jewelry is not the only thing I sell. These are faux pearls too, very pretty peachy colors, but uh, Whatnot is a fabulous venue, it really is, um, and it's a great way for you to find bargains and unique items, and a lot of our favorite sellers, Donatella's doing an absolute killing over there and giving bargains in the in the meantime as well because oh this is so pretty because she has amazing things everything from pokemon cards to legos to fabulous jewelry she just bought out an entire uh store of jewelry and oh my goodness look at that beautiful purple so anyway we'll talk about that in tomorrow's video it's gonna be fabulous don't miss it i love this purple this is beautiful it has wonderful striations. This is all faux. I'm sure it's acrylic, but they did a great job. They almost made it look a little bit like, um, what do you call it, um, obsidian? 
you know that wonderful reflection obsidian has I adore that that is so cool oh we got matching earrings for it at least one of them anyway hopefully a frog a little frog pin and then this one oh I love this this is very Kate Spade that is really pretty the colors are very Kate Spade to me she was really big on the blues and the greens. And I think I've had some of these giant earrings before. Very blingy. I may have to take these to my girls for their mystery boxes. I told them I was going to bring them some hoops. If they earn their way to them. Here is a, oh, it's a hairband. This one is interesting because it looks like it's about to pop already right there. But I'll harvest it. I like those big AB stones in the middle. There's always something that needs a rhinestone, especially like a creature or figural or something. You need those matching eyes. So I'll save that. And here's a single earring. What does this one say? Steve somebody. And it has pearls. Is it Steve Madden? It's got Mother of Pearl. Really pretty. Silver Springs, Florida. Oh, it must be like a sneer. This looks kind of old, too. That's really quaint. Look at that little box clasp. Hey, Miss Carrie. We came on live today. We were feeling like talking to all the new subscribers and all the... <laughs> All the old school subscribers, thanks for coming back, everyone. Again, if you have never subscribed, take a minute to hit that little button on the right of the screen that says subscribe, and do give it a thumbs up as well. Oh, this is pretty, too. Look at this. More. Oh, I saw so much Morganite yesterday. I took so many pictures <laughs> at the museum. I saw it in its raw state, in its highly polished state, in its jewel state. <laughs> morganite is beautiful. This looks like the color of morganite. All right, where is this tangle? What does it mean? Let me look at it. It's a jump ring. It's an old jump ring. Let's see if it's not gold filled or something special. Nope. It is indeed 12K gold fill. So those are nice because I have a lot of like vintage lockets and things that look nice with their, you probably can't see it, but it is gold filled. Okay. Oh, good. It's 7 a.m. and misty in Australia. You, wait till you see the opal I saw from Australia. <laughs> I'm going to post it later, Carrie. Oh my goodness, it was the size of a cantaloupe, sliced, bigger, bigger than a cantaloupe, and if it was from somewhere in Australia. I'll take a picture of the signs and everything. And then they had a black opal too. Look how precious that is. We have tiger eye, and I believe it's faux tiger eye, so it's really light. A peachy little pearl. Amazing. Hi, Vanessa, how are you? How's Ohio? Has it warmed up yet? I hope so. Robert's been thinking about you and saying, I hope she's not freezing. Because <laughs> that's a big change from Florida. But family is good, too. That really helps. All right, this is just a little gold chain. It's in great condition. So that's always nice for a pendant that needs a good mate. That's just a little kids. Let me see what this is. This looked like coral to me. It's really pretty, but it's plasticky and it needs to be hooked. Oh, it's so pretty though. It's faux. I really like it anyway. Look at that. Isn't that a cute look? But it does feel like plastic. Yep. Look at that. 
Wowie. I'm going to fix it anyway because I like the look. Oh, what is this? Oh, this looks like a vintage butterfly. I've seen this style before, but like in jade. I don't know what this is. It feels like a rock. Could be coral or a shell. It feels cold and like a stone. Maybe I could bend it down and look at the inside. I don't know. Isn't it beautiful, though? Yeah. Oh, look at this. Oh, man, that's cute for an enhancer, right? This is goldstone, and it's on brass. I'm going to call this a bingo. I love it when they make things on brass like this. Goldstone. Look at that. Oh, my God. Wouldn't that be a fabulous ring? Why can't... I was thinking, why can't my husband solder? And he said, who said I can't? <laughs> so I need to get him a soldering thing. You can make me a ring out of that. No, I don't know, but it's gorgeous. Don't you love goldstone? Goldstone, by the way, is glass. So it's a man-made stone, but it's used very often in even gold jewelry. I've seen it set in gold jewelry, sterling jewelry. It's beautiful. This is, I guess, kind of Mardi Gras quality, honestly. So I'm going to throw that in a crafter lot. Okay. Let me see who else popped in. Lizzie and Louie, how are you? Thank you, everyone who's here. Appreciate it. Appreciate that thumbs up. And oh, Jilly. Jilly Pepper, what a cute name. I love that. Yasmina, how are you? Susan, thanks for being here. Melanie, hope you're doing well, Miss Melanie. Just Jackie. Thank you again, all that are here. If I missed you, I didn't mean to. I'm just trying to finish up. Oh my gosh, super red on this one. Look at that. This is like the perfect nail polish color, isn't it? Oh, that is pretty. Some of these still work, honestly depending on their color and construction. So, look at these shell earrings on a twist back. Very interesting. Look at that. Cute stuff. My granddaughter wears um, clips. <laughs> we got the match. Mardi Gras ready. Mardi Gras ready on those. Yeah, she's not ready to pierce her ears yet. This is another very inexpensive. These, it's you could bend them and they will absolutely break. But it will go in a crafter because someone can use all these beautiful rhinestones for something else. More kid stuff. Great pretend. Oh, how cute is that? A little ballet theme here with the ballerina and a little stretchy. I guess this goes to no, that doesn't go together. All right, so that's cute for a kid. What's this? A ring? Do I hear it loose? Silver tone. It's really cute. It's like a, a rhinestone in there. I like it. Looks like it's going to fit. No, it's a six. It's a little big. Six will not. Well, this one might be a seven. There you go. It's kind of cute, isn't it? Very interesting setting. Looks very exotic. I kind of like, like that one. And glass. Artsy looking piece here. Blue glass. These are metal discs. Hi, Vanessa from Katie. Beautiful day today, wasn't it, in Houston, Texas, and the surrounding areas? Oh, my gosh, I couldn't believe it. The cool breeze and 72 degrees. Here's a stretch. Took my grandson to the park before I took him home today. It was amazing. Here's the big, chunky pearls. These are amazing. They look really nice. This is like a, let me see what this little thing says, because that's an interesting clasp. When they have that tiny little prong that goes in, sometimes they're a good brand. 
And these really do look nice. Totally classic. I bought some amazing pearls from Kirsten there. And they were kind of on the chunky side, but they were real. And I love them. I think they look so pretty. Perfect choker size. This is a choker size. These are faux, though, and it's a great little look. It really is. You can make it look funky. You can make it look lady. You can do what you want. Pearls are for everyone. Um, these are more Mardi Gras here. Put those in the crafter. Another stretchy. Oh, these were the ones that were tangled. I don't know if this is origami. It doesn't feel as heavy as the origami stuff, but it's really pretty, and you can open it there and add things. Like they put simple things like glitter and oh, <laughs> some little, I guess I could open it. Some little, no, I don't want to mess up with my nails. They just put like little plastic beads and things, and all the rhinestones are there, so that's cute. And they just put it on a simple ribbon. And what is this? Somebody put a best friend charm there or something? It's got a hook on. Let me see what it says. It says BFF. Oh, that's so cute. Really cute. Another one, same thing in purple, BFF. And this can be taken on or off. This is heavy. This little charm is heavy. Very nice. Okay, we did get the matching earrings to that really pretty purple statement necklace. That was pretty. Still waiting on the matching earring to this little Doris Day number. What is this? This is pretty. It's gold tone. It has hearts. They look a little bit like Jasper with some rutiles, but it's all faux, I believe. I love it, though. It's a pretty color. Look at that, all hearts. And some faux root tiles going around it. That's pretty. Okay, let's see. A stretchy mesh, kind of an ombre effect, purple and blue. Do I have anything on here? I remember these, these were, <laughs> these were popular a few years back. These are rubber. And these are glass. Somebody strung those on there. And it's a long necklace, about 30 inches long. Very interesting. These are all single earrings. Shells. Oh, I hadn't gotten shells in a while. These are an absolute requisite. Gratuitous in all jewelry jars. You usually get about three or four of those. Oh, that's pretty. A little ring of pearls. Gold chain. It looks like it had a dangle there, though. What could I put there? A BFF. That's what I'll put. <clears throat> now I'm joking. More of these. <laughs> Vibes. Okay. And it's an anklet. <coughs> ah, to be young again, right? With the BFF and all that stuff. No, that was kind of... Those are hard years for a lot of kids. <laughs> Here's a stretchy. It's, it's not fun when you're not the BFF and you think you are. I've seen a lot of that. <laughs> These are white and they are vintage. They're very nice. Very nice if you like to pair the black and white look or anything like that. That's pretty. And clip on. I don't think it says anything. It reminds me of a Coro I have. Hi, Janet. Thanks for being here. Here's a little pearl ring. Just a little costume. Pretty look. This is a broken earring, but I need those pearls. I know I need those pearls for something. Something always needs to be repaired. So that's in the harvest lot now. Oh, here it is. Thank you so much. We got it. Look at that. <laughs> 
That is so cute. It's like totally Doris Day. It's giving me totally Doris Day. Fourth of July picnics, garden parties. I love that. That is really cool. Okay, what is this? Okay, we, we needed a ribbon. They needed a ribbon. I don't know why they needed a ribbon. It's not even heavy. I don't know. There it goes. Silvery. Uh, some kind of twisty. I'm not crazy about this particular ribbon thing. I think I'm going to toss that in a crafter as well. That'll be really nice to take apart and redo. Okay. What is this? Cute. This is very, very 80s. Right? 80s colors. Ooh. Body Central. Okay. <sighs> These are heavy. Shoulder Dusters. Body Central. And, uh, you know, it's interesting. The gold is actually more of a mustardy yellow. I think my daughter would like these. She's been wearing these huge shoulder dusters lately. She may like those. And paparazzi with a missing one. This is a, a, a genuine stone, I was going to say. And it's on sterling. What do you think that stone is? I saw so much petrified wood yesterday. The museum, I'm thinking it's petrified wood. I don't know. It's very interesting, though. If we find the other one, I'll be very happy. And what do we have? Oh, these are cute. I love the brassy color. And I think they're kind of a wood color. They're very lightweight. These are very cool. When they're lightweight, I'm very happy. Because I'm very sensitive to weight on my ears. I don't know why. But I can't do over four grams. It's crazy. What in the world? Some pearls are falling everywhere. Oh, this one. This one. Okay, let's grab it real quick. This one needs to be put into an emergency bag. So I'll put that over there and try to pick all of that up in a minute. Here we have some kind of opalescent glass. And is that a stretch? It is a stretch. I don't think that's lapis. It looks pretty solid. But let me take a closer look. But that's pretty. I like the opalescent glass always. Oh, it, it, it is. It is lapis. Nice. I do see some specks of pyrite in there. Very nice. Okay, I don't think I can pile anything on, but any more things on, but there it is there. Very cool. Oh, look at this little modern ring. It's signed, too. <laughs> what does it say? It says, Colette Maloof for Hard Candy. Okay, now Hard Candy is, that's so cute. And it's adjustable. Hard Candy is cosmetics, right? I believe it's cosmetics. That's a cute ring. Here's some more stretchies. And this one looks like it's almost stretched out. Those are beautiful beads. Ceramic beads. I like those. Blue and white. And these are acrylic beads. I have a separate bead lot where I keep most of these. So I really don't throw all of those in crafters, but I throw like these broken necklaces and outstretched brace into crafter bead lots. This is so pretty. I guess it's two separate strands. Oh, wait a minute. It looks like three. Three strands. I guess you could twist and turn them and turn them into some type of necklace with maybe an enhancer on it. It's pretty. Really pretty iridescent colors on that. And we still have a lot in here. Another statement. This one's a little on the cheapy side. Feels kind of lightweight and flimsy, but I like the colors. I love the cream colors. statement piece and let me see who else popped in Anna Anna Thompson 
You got one of those gold jewelry touch-up pens today. They're mirac... Aren't they? I'm so glad. I'm so glad. I really should have put an affiliate link for that thing. A lot of people have asked me about it. But um, I used to have some affiliate links, but I've... I never have time to just grab everything. I need to readjust my settings in my YouTube so they can automatically go on. But I'm glad you took advantage of it because they are really good. I love them. You change the fish clips on the pierced earrings and all your friends want them. Which ones? I don't remember now, Carrie. So much jewelry passes through here. I don't remember at all. Thank you again to all who are here. Bad Biscuit. I think I said hello to Bad Biscuit, but thank you for being here. All right, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, these are interesting. Cinema. Who is this? I am not a boo. Oh, is it Disney? Beauty and the Beast? I'll have to ask one of my students. She's a Disney buff. Where is, the, I guess that's her. That's Belle, huh? Well, it was shaped like a bell. I don't know. I've never seen that. That's kind of cool. Hmm. The green pepper ones with the gems. The green paper ones. Oh, okay. Oh, my goodness. That's nice. That's nice that you were able to do that. Here's another kid piece. More of that. It's a British actress. Okay, so here we have some big. These are a little on the rusted side, too. Little tarnish, so those really nice rhinestones on those, though. So I may stick those in my rhinestone harvest lot. And uh, we did have a match on these. These are cute. These will s kind of orient themselves on your ear this way so they really show up. Those are darling. I like those. Emma Watson. Okay, that's Emma Watson. It is her. That's cute. Thank you, Jude. They are Emma Watson. Boy, they do a lot with those Disney things, don't they? I need to go to the movies more often. These are interesting. They, Hey, Miss Tanya, they are not... Well, they could be. They kind of feel like real snake skin. They're kind of cool. Hermes and Gucci do a lot with snake skin on jewelry. I found some of their vintage pieces and sold them for big money, even though they were damaged. Someone actually said she could fix it. This is interesting. So, some, and I think she was in England. Look at this. This is hand painted. Wow, that's kind of pretty, isn't it? I don't think that's a mark there. It just looks like a little dinghy. But that is really pretty. I guess it's porcelain. Very nice. More kid jewelry. Oh, the teddy bear's cute, though. These charms are heavy. The BFF one was heavy, too. The little teddy bear holding a purple stone there. Okay, now we have a little... I think this is obsidian. Oh, I have to give this to my grandson. He's obsessed with obsidian with Minecraft now. That's cool. Yeah, that's going into his little huh, rock stuff. What is this now? This one looks like another unfinished piece, and that's the magnetic. That actually broke, so that'll be another one that goes into the crafter for beads because... The magnet part seems to have popped out. These are beautiful beads, though, and they're purple. Very nice. Showed you those rings already. I like that brooch. Here's a pretty ring with the color of Morganite again. <laughs> and it's costume, I believe. Silver tone. I don't think I see any mark at all. I'm going to clean it, though. It's kind of pretty, and it's got a really nice setting, doesn't it? Be surprised how many, how much these things can change with a little soap. Oh, look at this, a little steampunk. That's cute. Somebody did a good job on this one. And it's a brooch. It's got some cogwheels there. 
some kind of a green stone inside the clock without hands. Very poetic. The clock with no hands. All right, we have another silver tone ring with some bling. And okay, we got <laughs> more Mardi Gras. So we've got three matching pairs. Gold, purple, and multi. Mm -hmm. Again, this was only $35, so I feel like this was a win-win all the way. Look at that. All the stones are there, too. Silver tone, kind of eye like colored stones on that. Just a silver tone piece. Oh, that's cute. Oh, if only that one wasn't missing. But look, they had the sense to paint the bottom purple. So, so you can't tell. I like it. <laughs> Acrylic is fun, don't you think? And we can elevate and call it Lucite. And then we can really be pompous and call it vintage, right? <laughs> oh, these were so popular. Everybody wears these. Still, I see a lot of kids, at, you know, the middle schoolers or the trendsetters <laughs> still wearing these. This is heavy, though. That's why they come apart so easily. They're so heavy. And here's red. Are these lips? No, it's just a triangle. Now this one, I'll have to take the nail polish to it. <laughs> they didn't color that one red. <laughs> wow, okay. <laughs> what in the world? Definitely not salvageable here. <laughs> Hi, E. Mendoza. Thanks for being here. Thanks again, everyone who's here. Please hit that thumbs up if you're enjoying the video. Oh, look at the carousel. Oh, that one's pretty. And is that a bale at the top? It is, so you can wear it as a necklace. Or I guess it was like a pin bag. It's pretty heavy, so I know it's not an earring. That is darling. Oh, really? The Rustoleum? Hmm. Look at those darling horses. Carousel horses. Can you see it? They're prancing. So cute. Okay, this this is that earring that matched that statement piece. Hello, Eminem from Canada. I hope you're well. This is the kids piece. It had matching earrings going in a crafter. I need one of these. I'll have to carry my keys on these more than a lanyard sometimes. I don't know who that is. I'm sure it's somebody. Probably from a video game. I never know all these characters. This is really pretty. Look at this. This is pretty. These have like a um, kind of like a um, what is it called? Like a bugle bead on the inside or a bugle shaped glass and then crystal on the outside. So it's encased. That's a really pretty bracelet. I love that. Love blue. And I really like the pattern they did as well. Smaller, larger. Oops. That's really pretty. I like this one. I thought it had a necklace to match. Okay, here it is. Oh, and earrings. No, this is the this is the drop. Oh, pretty. <laughs> yes, I'm wearing the uh, pearls and chalcedony. Found it in a jar, yes. That's one I don't think I'll ever give up soon. It's so unique. Look at that. That's beautiful. And then the matching bracelet. I think that's a pretty one. Look how the inside has an encased tube, kind of like a bugle bead, but I'm sure it's glass. I wish I had a whole studio for the jewelry. I really do. I would spend so much time in there. Look at this darling turtle. Oh my gosh. This is pretty. Isn't this so much nicer than the organza ribbons they usually put these on? Oh my gosh. It is so cute. Let me take this pea out of here. 
initial P. Well, this is an initial P. It's got a sand dollar made with love, it says. It's really pretty. That's attached there, but let me show you this necklace so we don't spend too much time untangling. This is so cute. Look at him. Oh my gosh, he is darling. I love the copper chain too. Okay, we got an attached earring there. <laughs> we have a Christmas earring attached. Isn't that darling? Look how big he is too. Very dimensional. And kind of little chips of something inside. I'm surprised he's not chipped. He's gorgeous. That is really cute. All right, let's see what else is in here. It's glass. It's really pretty glass. Look at this giant butterfly thing. Wow, this was a really good jar so far, don't you think, for $35? I hope that one for $125 that I'm going to do tomorrow and then take to a whatnot to start everything at $1. I hope that one's as nice as this one. This looks like a stainless or something. Is there anything marked there? I'm not sure, but it's really pretty. And it's, um, let me see if it has a mark on the back. Huge, look at that, it takes up my hand. Wowie. No, no mark on it. Must be just a really heavily heavily plated base metal or stainless. I love it. That's really cute. More kid jewelry, kind of. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh my goodness, a cameo. Okay, we got a bingo. We got a bingo, and I think, wowie, where did I get this jar? I don't remember some of these Goodwills I stop at. It says 800. It says, it says 800. Look at her. What is it with that hair? She had plumes in her hair, doesn't she? She's gorgeous. She is a genuine cameo. You can see the shadow there. Okay, okay. We've got a bingo. Oh, they had a whole exhibit of um, cameos, too. That's really amazing. The art of carving the cameo isn't it isn't that awesome she's got plumes in her hair she's really cute she's got that wonderful Patricia nose I love her and the color is very very different doesn't have that orangey color that most of them do that you usually see I'm gonna have to do some research on this one and she's marked 800 She's beautiful. Look at the wonderful tendrils on her. Let me bring her up close. On her hair. Hi, Louise. Thank you so much for being here. I know. That's exactly a, a point well taken there. How do they survive a jewelry jar? Some things don't. <laughs> tomorrow, uh, Tanya, tomorrow I'm going to open um, a jar that... Whatnot has sponsored me to open and has already compensated for me to open that jar and take it all to Whatnot on Wednesday of next week to start everything at $1. And it, that one cost me a lot of money. <laughs> but like I said, they've already sponsored my video and compensated. So whatever it goes for, it goes for it. Wow, what a beautiful cameo, huh? I don't believe I have any more cameos. I think I have sold them all except for the rings, but the cameo brooches and, and pendants, I have sold them all. This is an absolutely stunning brooch. This is an amazing jar bag. Is it marked? It is. It's got a little marking right there, it looks like, right in the middle. Let me see what it says. Uh, I have to, I, I am shooting for 8 p.m. Central. That's what I promised the uh, whatnot sponsor. So that's what I'm shooting for. 8 p.m. Central on Wednesday is the auction. Look at that. It's a swar Swarovski. There's the wonderful swan. And you can tell it's heavy. It's beautiful. Look at that. Dragonfly, right? It's huge, too. It's an amazing condition. 
Oh my goodness, I'm surprised this one survived the bag too. Look at her. She's gorgeous. She is well made. Look, she's even got rhinestones in the front in her beautiful eyes. Or crystals, rather. Swarovski crystals. Love it. All right. Here we go. A uh, little bent style earring. Very tinny. And, oh my goodness. This is that porcelain stuff. Is this sterling? You know, they are doing sterling in this adjustable style band, so don't dismiss it so quickly. Let me see here. It really does look like sterling, but I haven't seen a mark yet. Let me keep looking. No, I don't see it. It's cute, though. It's like they take the um, kind of dishes and things and make jewelry out of them. That's cute. Almost looks like a fleur-de-lis, doesn't it? Very pretty ring. I like the rings that popped out of here, too. Even the faux ones. Okay, I spotted these in the bag. <laughs> Unfortunately, this one has turned. I may have to take that pen to it. Look at that. This one has uh, gotten a little brassy colored on it. And are these shoe clips? These are shoe clips. Yeah, they're not clip-on earrings. They're little shoe clips, and they're very likely uh, marked with the patent number. Let me check and see. Yeah, it says SC Dior, SG Dior, patent pending. And that's D apostrophe O-R, not as in Christian Dior. Christian Dior, not like that. Okay. Some, these look a little bit different in color too, so these might have to go to a crafter. This one looks a little whiter, doesn't it? Might be a different batch. Sometimes the stores donate things that don't sell, and that's probably why. This is pretty. This is a really fun piece here. I love the colors. Has crosses. Almost looks like, um, Oh, what is the name of that stone that's green? I can never think of it, but I think it's imitation. I think it's howlite that's dyed, but I like it. It's very pretty. Does it, Vanessa? I know Vanessa probably already looked up that dragonfly. Yes, yeah, Hawarski. Jewelry is so expensive and well done. This is this one's missing the same stone or what? This is so funny. I picked up this earring a minute ago. One of the pearls was missing, and this one's missing a pearl, too. So very likely that's the case. All right, let me dump this out and see what else pops out of here besides a lot of loose beads. Serpentine. Got a match on that. Oversized 80s earring. I love black jewelry, especially earrings. They show up in my hair. This is a necklace. Looks like an older or later 1920 but it's not marked okay and this is the one I said I was going to recycle because it doesn't seem to be salvageable here's another little cameo this one appears to be a faux cameo and it is a hat pin and single earrings I put that brooch over here kid jewelry these match these kind of look like a coro that I have but I'm not sure and I don't think they have a mark but let me double check wow 200 in the chat 100 thumbs up half of y'all did not put the thumbs up all you have to do is go over by the screen just leave the chat for a minute give it a thumbs up if you will that really helps YouTube know and me know that you like the video that you like the channel and it'll be shared throughout youtube land oh we did have a match to this one this was a pretty earring and it looks like a vintage one it looks like it's made really well 
<laughs> Thank you, Marty. Thank you for being here. And this is another, I think, a uh, imitation Pandora style, just silver tone. Cute beads on these, though, and I will check every one of them because many times people do mix them up. And they will put their genuine Pandora along with it. Okay, so there's earrings to match that really pretty blue necklace and bracelet set. And I love these. They're very um, bohemian, chuck glass looking. Not sure if they are, but they're really beautiful. And blue is so pretty. Yeah, so these matched up. That's nice to know that we have a whole three-piece set. Earrings, bracelet, and the necklace. Love that. Intaglios are beautiful, too. Oh, this is nice, too. What is... Oh, they made a spare? They made a spare earring. I think they were making a couple. Those are beautiful beads. They really are. And I believe we scored on this bag. I can't complain for $35. But again, do not miss my video tomorrow. Please sign up for on my link when I list it tomorrow. On my link, if you go over there from my link, you will get $15 off whether you buy from me or someone else on your first purchase. And of course, I will be compensated if you use my link. But uh, Whatnot has already sponsored the video, so you're going to get an absolute bargain for anything that I start will be started at $1. 15 second videos, it's easy as pie. They just need you to register your credit cards and whatnot, however you pay, however you like to pay for your purchases so that they have your information on hand. You will not be invoiced. You'll immediately be charged. I will be able to print a label with all your information on it. So it's like such a streamlined process to sell jewelry. I hope you join me. Please don't forget to watch that video. It will be recorded and it will go on to tomorrow. And they asked me to record it because they want it to run for a couple of days so we can get some excitement generated and then everyone can join me on Wednesday at 8 p.m. Central over on Whatnot. Don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. I will see you very soon for another one. I'm so glad that you were here live. If I didn't say hello, it's only because these videos take a long time to do live. And I so appreciate you being here. All of my new subscribers, welcome. I thank you from the bottom of my heart. People that keep coming back year after year, you don't know how much you've enhanced my life. I appreciate it. Bye-bye.